Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up today, Halloween wasn't the only holiday this week. Find out what other national holiday is being celebrated today. Also, what sports team is going all or nothing at tomorrow's game? All of this and more today on FST News. Good morning, Falcons. Today is Thursday, November 3rd, 2016. I'm Ariel Byrus. And I'm Summer Reyes. Spoiler alert, history was made as the Chicago Cubs played against the Cleveland Indians in the Baseball World Series. The Cubs won the World Series last night. 108-year drought and won their first World Series title since 1908. They started the game off in the lead, going to six points against three up until the eighth inning, where the Indians brought in the three runs, tying the game 6-6. Six to six. And in the ninth, no one scored with the game still tied, so they went into extra inning, as the Cubs scored with two more runs and the Indians with only one. The Cubbies have won the World Series. 300 million. That's how many sandwiches are eaten on average per day. And today, sandwiches are being spotlighted. Today is National Sandwich Day, and two sandwich restaurants are offering specials that seem just too hard to turn down. Starting off with Subway, they are offering a free sub with every purchase of a sub and drink. And for every free sub someone gets, they are also donating a meal to the charity, Feeding America. Subway calls this promotion the Good Deed Feed. According to Review Journal, one in Eight Americans are going hungry, and Subway CEO and President Suzanne Greco says that many of the Subway franchises are committed to fighting hunger in their communities. Isn't the only sandwich restaurant rewarding their customers today? Schlotzky's is also offering a free medium sandwich for every medium sandwich of equal or lesser value that's purchased. The deal includes all sandwiches on their standard menu, and there's seven new specialty sandwiches as well. There are only two Schlotzky's in the valley that are still open. One is located inside of the Excalibur excuse me, Hotel and Casino on the Strip, which is right across the street from the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. The other one is located at 5119 West Charleston Boulevard near Raising Canes. Election Day is just a few days away. FST News is monitoring the election. One question we've been getting is, who's winning? Polls are conducted by several different media companies and a multitude of other election polling organizations. The polls are all over the statistical field. Some polls report that Hillary Clinton is ahead, while others report that Donald Trump is ahead. Polls can be wrong and often are indeed wrong. MSNBC's Steve Kornatsky, excuse me, noted that you can't look at the national polls since our election isn't really a national election as much as it is a state-by-state -state election. So when you're watching the news or looking at polls in the upcoming days, pay attention to how the polls are in, in each state. Also, don't forget, we have election day off. Tomorrow, there's no school for students. Tuesday, excuse me. Tuesday, there's no school for students or licensed employees of the Clark County School District. Support staff employees must still report to work. As no school November continues on Friday, November 11th is a day of school is a day off school as we remember veterans. According to the US Department of Veterans Affairs, World War 1 fighting actually stopped during the 11th hour of the 11th day on the 11th month. Veterans Day is observed on November 11th regardless of which day it falls on. EcoVision Club is having a meeting today at 1.25 p.m. in room 310. The meeting is being held to talk about the Climate Change Assembly, Recycling Week, and Officer Elections. Foothill has been taking an annual trip to Catalina Island for years now, and this year it's in danger of being canceled. The trip might not be happening this year because there are not enough people signed up to go. Deposits are due on Monday, and to keep the trip going, 24 students need to be paid and signed up for by Monday. For more information on this opportunity, you can go to room 310 and talk to trip organizer Kimberly Simino. 
There's a Sun Youth Forum meeting today after school in room 722, so make sure to stop by to get the topics you'll be debating at the event. Leadership skills, friends, and becoming quality workers and American citizens. That's the simple goal of Skills USA. Yesterday, after school in the teacher's lounge, Skills USA met to eat pizza and socialize. Former lead advisor Karen Vaughn and former gold medalist James Schaefer were both on hand to discuss with the group the importance of Skills USA and how it's a place to make friends while learning life skills. Candidate Richard Vaughn, who is who's running to become a Clark County School Board trustee, also spoke about the importance of career and technical education and Skills USA. Boys basketball tryouts are Saturday, November 12th from 10 a.m. to noon. To try out, you must have a completed physical packet turned into the office no later than Thursday, November 10th. Another requirement for trying out is that each athlete must also be registered with, registered with My Athlete account. To register for My Athlete, you can go to www.fstnews.com and search My Athlete. Another winter sport that is already beginning is girls' flag football. Flag football intramurals are every day until November 10th. Intramurals are from 4 to 6 p.m. and tryouts are next week. For more information, you can see Cynthia Guzman in room 248. Football has made it to the quarterfinals this year's playoffs, and on Friday, they're facing the pioneers of Canyon Springs. The game starts at 7 p.m. at Canyon Springs. Also happening today, Foothill joins Silverado, Coronado, and Green Valley High Schools to participate in Kidsvention. It's a partnership between the Clark County School District and Voices in Voting. Fifth and seventh grade students will be in the audience as speech and debate students from four high schools debate with elected officials live on stage. Kidsvention also gives students an opportunity to vote and see the different scenarios of the outcomes of elections. CCSD trustees Kevin Child and Carolyn Edwards are participating along with Nevada State Senator Dr. Joe Hardy, Assemblywoman Lynn Stewart, Assemblywoman Dina Neal, and Henderson Councilwoman Gary Schroeder. It all happens today from 10 to 11.30 at Henderson Pavilion on Green Valley Parkway. In the spirit of today's holiday, I thought I might share something that I have honestly wondered before. How did the sandwich get its name? According to FillYourPlate.org, the sandwich was created by a man named John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Apparently, he didn't want to use two hands to eat while in the middle of a 24-hour gambling event. So he literally just ordered his servant to place the meat from his meal in between two slices of bread so he could use only one hand to eat it and the other to gamble. So I would say that sandwiches fit quite nicely in Vegas. Well, on that note, that's all the news we have for you today. Don't forget to tune in on Wednesday when Summer and I are doing a special post-election show for you. From all of us at FST News to you, have a great day.